Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my vlog. I know it's been a minute since I've uploaded on my channel, but you guys, this is a new year, which if y'all are watching this, then happy new year, everybody. Hope y'all's year is filled with a whole bunch of blessings, love, happiness, joy, laughter, just good stuff, okay, overall, just good stuff, all right? So, like I said, I know it's been a minute since I've uploaded, but I'm back and I'm back with two videos a week, okay? I wanna just try my hardest to upload content, get content out and everything like that. So yeah, today's video is actually gonna be a vlog. I know, I'm gonna be taking you guys with me everywhere. To be honest, I really don't have much errands. It is Wednesday, so I am starting this vlog off pretty late in the week, but that's just because my son and my sister just went back to school today. I know they're having school on a Wednesday. Um, which they're starting school on Wednesday, which is weird, but yeah So I decided since you know, they're back in school and everything I would have like a quiet house and uh, enough for me to Vlog and whatnot. So yeah, today is going to be a day in my life as a stay-at-home mom slash housewife slash small youtuber Everything that I do I'm gonna be milk prepping today and just showing you guys all of the food um, Taking you guys with me to the gym and stuff. Hopefully I don't feel nervous about that because when I film at the gym or when I used to try, it was just, I used to be embarrassed. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about today, all right? I already made my coffee, which I'm gonna tell you guys all about my coffee that I made. This isn't just regular coffee. In my coffee, I actually have, of course, ice, and then I pour my chilled coffee over it. This is just regular, Starbucks Verona brand and then I go ahead and pour my premier protein Inside of it, which is the cafe latte just because I like whenever it's more of a coffee taste But I do prefer the vanilla protein to be honest. So yeah, that is everything that I put in my coffee um, I like my coffee more On the sweeter side, but this will do because honestly it really it tastes really good okay it really does it tastes really good um the reason why i make it this way is just because i want to start my day off with a more healthier version of a coffee instead of a very sweeter version because if it were up to me y'all i would put so much sugar inside of my coffee okay so much sugar so now that i have my coffee already done I'm gonna go ahead and make my pre-breakfast. And what I mean by pre-breakfast is I'll go ahead and make me a breakfast before my breakfast. So this breakfast that I'm about to make isn't really a very heavy, large breakfast or anything. It's just something to get my day started since I did wake up pretty early. I really don't wanna have to overfill myself and make myself feel very full. So I'll go ahead and go in with my 100% whole wheat bagel. I'll toast my bagel first of all. I like my bagel toasted. I don't like it when it's not toasted, okay? Once my bagel is already toasted, then I'll go ahead and go in with an avocado. I use a medium avocado and I'll go ahead and just take half the avocado and save the other half for some other time in the day. I'll mash my avocado on my bagel and then I'll go ahead and pour a tablespoon of honey drizzled over both the avocado and bagel. That's personally how I love my bagel. I like avocado toast, so I'll go ahead and just switch out the toast for the bagel, the toasted bagel. And then after that, I'll go ahead and pour some salt on my bagel, okay? Because I like a little bit of salt, but not too much, okay? Because too much sodium will make you bloated, sis, all right? And then, last but certainly not least, well, to be honest, it is least, <laughs> I'll go ahead and go in with some red chili flakes. This is key to your avocado toast i love my avocado toast with red chili flakes okay you guys my avocado bagels are done so now usually after i make my avocado toast or bagels i usually just sit down i scroll through youtube and just see like what type of youtube video i would like to watch and lately i've been liking to watch kim tai um, her vlog channel just because i love how inspirational she is and motivational she is she just makes me want to get up and do what I have to do to purchase my own home one day. So yeah, that's usually what I do and I'll just chill for a little bit, watch the video, eat my bagel, drink my coffee, journal, and maybe even make a to-do list of what I have to do for the day. And then after that, I'll go ahead and take Maxine walking around the block, which takes me about 20 minutes, so yeah.
it's about to be made um and i'll show you guys what i'm about to cook and all that type of stuff so you guys can see everything and i'm going to insert the macros on the screen okay for sure on the screen so be on the lookout for the macros and everything like that because i'm on about a 1270 to 17 to 1800 calorie diet it just depends i'm on a deficit but like today wednesday of course um i do have a lot of carbs on some days i'm out of breath but i do have a lot of carbs um mondays wednesdays and fridays and yeah um and then the other days i have very low uh carb days because i feel it's best for me as um my body type or whatever a uh, thicker body type um it's best for me to have low carb and high carb days just because it helps me lose the weight that i want to lose it kind of confuses my body a little bit and um if you guys want to learn more about that uh just google it up or whatever um yeah and that's been helping me a lot so i'm gonna go ahead cook real quick uh show you guys what i'm cooking and all of that stuff and then yeah one second now my bacon does take a little bit of time to cook so i like to cook it first and i'll go ahead and put that down um you don't have to cook your bacon and eggs together like i'll cook my bacon first and then i'll put my eggs in there and you know mix it up and everything uh you don't have to do that if you want to put your bacon on top of your taco you can but i like it mixed together just because i don't have to scrape all of this out and then put my eggs in there i'll just go ahead and let those cook so now while my bacon is cooking i'll go ahead and put my tortilla on my flat pan here Now, I don't know about y'all, but I really do like my bacon, like, really crispy. I don't like it whenever you can see all the fat on it. Like, you can see it right now that it still has a lot of fat on it. I don't like that. So, I will crisp it up until I feel like it's good enough. And then I'll go ahead and put my eggs in. Tortilla is pretty good. Okay, so now that I feel like my bacon is pretty crisp up, I'll go ahead and pour in my egg white and cheese mixture. Like I said, you can use um, egg whites from the actual whole egg, or you can just buy the egg whites out of the, the carton. Um, or if you just want whole eggs, you can eat whole eggs. Um, I don't really like eating the whole egg it honestly it tastes nasty to me like I don't even like scrambled eggs on a daily okay like I don't do the scrambled eggs I'd rather do the egg whites so yeah I'm gonna go ahead just mix it all up so it's all nice and cooked okay so the eggs are done I'm gonna go ahead and just put them on my tortilla as best as I can a little bit fell so yeah Okay, so my for real breakfast is now done. So this is how it came out. I know it looks like a lot and that's because it really is. So if you're thinking about getting on a meal plan or anything that just makes you feel fulfilled throughout your day, not hungry, then I suggest going with Gage Girl Training. I purchased her meal plan probably like over a year ago. And honestly, at first it's so much food. I may not even eat all of this, but then again, I might. It just depends. Um, so yeah. All right, everybody. So I just got back home. After I worked out, I literally just went to my grandma's house for a few hours. This is something I always do. And I completely forgot to go running. I don't know how I literally just missed it. It's okay. But today's leg workout was honestly very, not hard but my legs are feeling it right now okay my legs are feeling it a lot right now um so yeah i just did a quick outfit change i'm about to start cooking so of course i just got on a regular sweater it's about to start pouring down raining so yeah 
I'm about to cook my food up. All right, you guys. So for my next two meals, I'm going to be using some red potatoes, a yellow and red bell pepper. I'm sorry if you guys hear anything in the background. My son's watching Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, okay? Um, but I'm using both just because I have the yellow one and I really don't want them to go bad. So I'm going to be using both today. But first, like always, we're going to be weighing out our red potatoes. So I'm supposed to be using about four ounces of red potatoes. So that's 4.2. And I personally like to quarter my potatoes. So just going to quarter them up. It's just like a rough chop, just like so. And you can use russet potatoes or uh, sweet potatoes is really what I'm supposed to be using, russet or sweet, but I personally like the red potatoes and the flavor that it has, if that makes any sense. And I like to cut my bell pepper long ways. So I don't really chop it up because I like when they're a bit stringy and then for me to like just like pick them up with my fork. So now I'm just going to go ahead and lay out my bell peppers. And this is just personally how I like to do it. And then of course olive oil. So olive oil is actually very healthy in fat. I like using this one right here because the other ones are hella expensive. And I'll use about a tablespoon of it. For the meat, I already cut it open before showing y'all, but I just use regular ground turkey. This is the 85% lean, 15% fat. Um, you can go higher with the leanness if you want. I just prefer this one. So I'm literally just going to use the whole thing because it is 16 ounces. And for today and tomorrow's meal prep, it's going to be 12 ounces in all. But tomorrow I'm going to have a no carb day. So I want more of a higher fat and protein. So I'm going to eat a little bit more tomorrow than I would. All right, you guys, so I have everything inside of the oven. I have my oil heating up. My ground turkey is cooking right now. And then also, I have my potatoes and bell peppers roasting in the oven. Now, y'all, it is raining hard outside. I want to show y'all while the food is cooking. It is raining so hard right now. Okay, you guys, so my bell peppers and my potatoes are finally done. I'm gonna go ahead and scoop up all of the potatoes and half of the red and yellow bell peppers and just put them in my bowl. I was gonna put them on a plate, but all of my plates are dirty right now and I didn't feel like having to wash one. So this is going to go. So my turkey is now done or my ground turkey. I'm going to use up half of this or probably less than half because tomorrow is my no carb day. So I want as much fats and protein I can get. So now I'm going to go ahead and add my cheddar cheese to it. This is the shredded one that I used earlier. And I'm going to add an ounce to this and add some Parmesan cheese. And I'm also adding an ounce. I'm going to go ahead and use the other half right now. And then there we go. That is my healthy meal, or two meals to be honest. Um, 
don't know if you guys can see, but it's just really, honestly, this is so good. I'm going to take a quick picture for my thumbnail and then I'll go ahead and prop you guys up on my table over there so I can tell you like how much macros, or I'll probably just put it on the screen. So yeah, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and just eat my food um, and just leave the vlog there. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed the whole um, a day in my life as a housewife slash stay-at-home mom. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to call this video, but yeah, uh, I hope you get inspiration and motivation off of this video if you're trying to lose weight or just maintain or just be a more healthier version of yourself because this is literally what I do on a day, daily basis. Like seriously, this whole thing is what I do on a daily basis. And if I don't, then it's whatever, but I'll always get back on it. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me on my social media at DMarissaLynn. I'll have it linked down below, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.